Hello viewers and thank you for joining us on this week's episode of Crime Watch, a program brought to you by the Zimbabwe Public Police meant to strengthen police public synergies. My name is Onesisa Sivanda. Thank you for joining us. Murder and suicide cases are a growing cause for concern in the country and the ZROP is concerned with the increase of those cases. Circumstances around some of these cases are related to mental health challenges, depression and failure to fulfill societal obligations. Let us hear more from the ZRP National Spokesperson, Assistant Commissioner Paul Nyati. The Zimbabwe Republic Police is concerned with the murder cases which are occurring in various parts of the country where you find that uh, couples are having disputes and they end up uh, attacking each other in the process another person dies. We also have uh, people who will be drinking beer. You know, f people fighting over a chair to say, can you move away from that chair so that I can take a seat? If at the end, a person is attacked and we have somebody dying. We also have parents who try to discipline children. In the process, they use excessive force where children end up getting injured. In the process, they die. As the Zimbabwe Republic Police, we are aging members of the public, we are aging couples, we are aging relatives to resolve differences in a peaceful manner. Where one is wronged, please do not take the law into your own hands. Seek assistance, seek counseling so that we can respect the sacrosanctity of human life. So we really, really want the church to play a part. We want the traditional leaders to play a part. We also want, uh, you know, the community to assist by counseling, to assist by ensuring that in whatever activity people are undertaking, these activities are conducted in a peaceful manner. We are also concerned with the, the rate of suicide cases, where you find that uh, couples are also having disputes, couples are having marital problems, and uh, people are now thinking that uh, you can uh, solve some of these uh, challenges by taking one's own life. This is not the case, because they remember you have got families who end up suffering. We also have um, children as young as 12 years, as young as 9 years, who are allegedly committing suicide because of differences with the parents, because of, you know, even the issue of drug abuse. So we are encouraging parents, we are encouraging guardians to sit down with your children, mentor them into responsible citizens, try to walk with them the journey of life so that children appreciate what is right, appreciate what is wrong, and also realize that uh, where one is trying to engage in a particular activity, parental guidance is very important. As highlighted by the ZRP National Spokesperson, Assistant Commissioner Paul Nyati, it takes collective effort to address some of those challenges. In this regard, we engaged some of our stakeholders. <laughs> You know, we are going to be able to the Akuna mshonga mwechete unofanda unga uchisanga nisikuwa na Europa Remuni. Imi, barimu uchitendo chechivano, kana mapostori, wanuwa na mpata wakuti muna anuwe oti, e, nduda kuti ndi uraya munu, kana anoshowa matrades, e kunga achida ku uraya munu. Ndatiba sira neti zise mapurisa. Nukuti zime zengu wa munu yeye, ani kwa ani kaka tova, achita zini uji. Zime zengu wa arbuto chagwa. When someone is defining themselves on the basis of do I have a house, do I have a car, do I have assets, do I have uh, savings, uh, when they don't have that and they've reached a point where they are under pressure that they should have it, very often uh, a lot of people 
um, succumb to pressure to engage in murderous crimes in order to acquire those things by which they can then define themselves. So clearly, uh, a value system that has become more materialistic, more greedy, more covetous, uh, could be part of what um, has contributed to this murderization. So those of us that are in the church, therefore, would contribute towards abating or reducing this trend. By helping people appreciate, you don't have to live in the having mode. You can live in the being mode. Unfortunately, many churches in Zimbabwe have adopted what I call the gold spell of prosperity. It's really more about gold than it is about God. And people are made to feel like if you're not driving a big car, you're not blessed by God. If you're not living in a 23-bedroomed house, you're not blessed by God. If you're not driving a Lamborghini, you're not blessed by God. It's the gold spell of prosperity, which is driving a lot of people to think things, 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 you know, the having mode rather than the being mode. So I think religious services providers like myself would contribute by not feeding that underlying belief system and value system which drives people towards uh, eventually being under pressure to engage in murderous crimes out of which they will then acquire these um, these uh, trappings. The biggest cause of suicide is depression and uh, and th this depression can be caused by various factors, financial pressures, academic health, uh, and more so what we are seeing now are social relationships uh, break down and, and, you know, in, in the way people are living uh, with their relatives, with their wives, with their children, and is causing a lot of pain. So these things can actually lead to uh, somebody you know, f not finding a way out and end ending up um, uh, co uh, committing suicide. And when it comes to uh, homicide, which is really murder in itself, um, you know, from a psychiatric point of view, one of the biggest causes is uh, somebody can actually be psychotic. What is psychosis? Psychosis is when somebody is out of touch with reality, out of touch with reality. And it is important for us to know and to recognize these signs. Because if we don't, we're going to see a rise of these things. So what I want to say to the nation of Zimbabwe, that it is time for us to embrace uh, that there is a, a problem and a challenge that we need to address, and that is mental health. And not just to assume that people are well or somebody is well. Let's take mental health seriously. And especially to the man, I want to appeal to you, it is not a weakness to seek help or uh, it is actually a sickness and you can be helped and get uh, treated for depression or treated for alcohol and drug uh, uh, rehabilitation. Still with murder cases, the Zimbabwe Public Police is investigating a culpable homicide case where a 23-year-old male adult was found dead along Cakeman Road between Bishop Gao and Monaville Roads in Harare. If you suspect that it could be someone you know, please visit ZRP Harare Traffic to help in the identification of the body. You can also contact ZRP Harare Traffic on 0242-777-644. Following the presidential amnesty on the voluntary surrender of firearms, the ZRP reports that as at 15 August 2022, the cumulative number of firearms returned since 8 August 2022 stands at 85. Those voluntarily surrendering firearms are reminded to also hand in the ammunition for the surrendered firearms. We take a short break. Join us in the second segment. Welcome to the second segment of Crime Watch. We recently visited Chiretsi District in Masungo Province. Let us hear more from our reporter, Elliot Kutsai Kanyani. Police in Chiretsi has been seized with robbery cases uh, mostly targeted at visitors uh, from surrounding places uh, such as Ndali, Chikombezi, and even as far as Triangle and Hippo Valley. These robbers uh, would use uh, the infamous uh, deceitful 
Chadona Star to lure unsuspecting members of the public. The officer in charge, Zetra P. Chirezi, that is Chief Inspector Evelina Simango, spoke about these cases and how they eventually accounted for these marauding criminals. We have been receiving numerous cases of plane robberies. The cases were occurring between Chirezi bus terminals and the Chirezi business district. Most of the victims were coming from neighboring rural areas such as Chikombezi, Chilonga and Save. We swiftly deployed the psycho patrol unit leading to the arrest of two men in connection with these cases. Since then, no such cases have been reported to date. We hope members of the public learn from such cases to prevent similar robberies from recurring. Still in Chiradzi, Criminal Investigation Department is looking for three robbers who stormed a shop in the Lowell town and robbed cashiers of at least 800 United States dollars. We spoke to the Criminal Investigation Department of St. Charge for Chiradzi, that is Detective Inspector Shepard Alchinanga, for more on this. We are investigating a case of armed robbery which recently occurred at Chingwanga Supermarket from a business center here in Chirez. Three accused persons entered the shop pretending as if they were customers. While least inside, one of them produced a pistol and threatened the cashiers and customers. During the process, they managed to rob at least US $800. They fired two shots and injured one customer on the end. We also spoke uh, to one of the witnesses uh, to this robbery act. In less than five seconds, I the the after instant, Moving on to our traffic safety segment. The Traffic Safety Council of Zimbabwe recently launched the Isindebele and Shona Highway Cards. Let us hear more on this. It is with uttermost satisfaction that I announce to you today that we've completed the process of converting the English Highway Code to Shona and Debele, the establishment of Shona and Debele version of the Highway Code became a very important factor on the Council's agenda as it is aimed at incorporating everyone in the learning process of the rules and regulations of the road. The conversion of this code enables us to work with the, the parameters of the National Development Strategy 1 of the inclusivity where nobody should be left behind. We must work harder to reverse the tide and preserve human lives on our roads. We take cognizance of the fact that we do have uh, 16 languages. Uh, we have said uh, Shona and Devele, we have started with those ones. And uh, this is historical uh, in the fact that uh, if you look at these uh, two languages that we have added on board, these are the languages that we have been saying officially. But we, we are not demeaning the other languages. We we'll still go there. We start from uh, the basics to the complex. But uh, like the chairman has said in his speech, he was very clear and unequivocal uh, in the fact that he, we will definitely move that path and everyone will be catered for. Uh, like elsewhere in all other economies that are developed, the cultural medium is actually their local languages, the Chinese teaching Chinese. So why can't we as Zimbabweans teach Nambia? 
We'll take a short break. Join us in the third and final segment. We are in the third and final segment of Crime Watch. As part of community engagement, the Zimbabwe Republic Police exhibited at various agricultural shows across the country. The Zimbabwe Republic Police uses various platforms to market its services. Some of these platforms include the Zimbabwe International Trade Fair and also agricultural shows that happened at district, provincial as well as national level across the country. We visited uh, the ZRP Pavilion at Chiredzi District Agricultural Show, where we spoke uh, to the Provincial Relations Liaison Officer for Mashingo Province, uh, that is Inspector Kudakwashe Dewa, who spoke on the importance uh, of such synergies uh, in combating crime. Such platforms are very vital for us as they accord us an opportunity to mix and mingle with our clients, where we give them info information, uh, in including crime tips that will help us to reduce crime. Uh, Issues such as drug abuse, we give information to the youths on the dangers of uh, drug abuse and how they should abstain from the abuse of drugs. In the lower field, we have got uh, about 179,000 cattle, so uh, anti-stock theft is one of our areas of interest. Uh, the people in the lower field normally let their cattle unguarded, especially during the off-season, so we are encouraging them at this platform to pen their cattle on, almost on daily basis and to put in practice uh, issues such as personalized branding, to practice collective penning where they take turns to guard their cattle. We give them information that will help them in the events of them having problems that they should not be afraid to approach our police stations across uh, the province. How they can give us information through various platforms, such as our WhatsApp platforms. In this way, we collectively fight crime to create a conducive environment for economic drivers to perform. There you have heard it. Do visit our police pavilions wherever you are at such platforms. ZRP went on to scoop first prize at Chiredzi Agricultural Show, shrugging off stiff competition from the Zimbabwe Prison and Correctional Services and the Zimbabwe National Army. Police also participated at similar shows in Marshallland Central, where they came first under the security services sector and also reclaimed for a consecutive fifth time the overall best accolade. In Wange and Chinoy, police also came first and second under the security services sectors respectively. Police perennially uses these platforms to perpetuate police public engagements and promote inclusivity in fighting crime. In other news, a local company has donated goods to the police through our community engagement. Well, before us today, ladies and gentlemen, is an astounding uh, uh, donation of blankets for police cells within our greater uh, I'm short of words to describe in full our joy and gratitude for this kind of gesture. There is one thing that I want all of us to know. There is no special person who was made or designed to go into the cells. Any one of us here is a potential country for peace with the cells. And each time when we are arrested and we are detained, it doesn't necessarily mean that all the human rights have been taken away from you. You continue and you remain to be a, a, a human being and you deserve your human rights. Therefore, it is the responsibility of each and every one of us to make sure that those places remain comfortable and those places remain upholding the human life of everybody else. Need I say that cells are not meant to punish, but just to hold the prisoner on his or whatever to the court of justice. It is in this respect that we continue to appeal to the corporate world for more prisoner support. I would like to extend an appreciation and thank you to uh, Mr. Murima and his team for such a worthy cause. Uh, maybe people may need to understand that they also should be partakers of such kind of activities in partnering with the Zimbabwe Republic Police uh, in ensuring that uh, resources which are scarce 
are made available to ease the processes that are um, undertaken in various police stations or in policing in general. Um, we also appeal to the members of the public to, to join hands with the police in uh, providing such kind of a service and resources. We choose to donate uh, and partner with the police station because we find that we are going to be able to do it. We are going to be able to do it. We are going to be able to do it. But we are going to be able to do it. We are going to be able to do it. We are going to be able to do it. We are Before we come to the end of this week's episode, here are some people on the police wanted list. CID Law and Order is looking for three suspects, Unganai Dixon Tarusenga, Godrich Chimbaira, and another suspect for public violence, which they committed in Nyatsime in June 2022. On the day in question, Tarusenga and his co-suspects were involved in public violence that includes stoning houses, motor vehicles, torching down a gazebo, and damaging various property at Chipanguza shopping center and Nyatsime area. Nema police is looking for Edwin Captain for a case of murder. Circumstances are that the suspect assaulted Bernard Caserera with an iron bar and fled after committing the crime. The victim later died as a result of this assault. Anyone with information that may help in the location of those people should contact any nearest police station or contact us on the following details. Visit our website www zetherapy.gov.zw or email us on feedback at zetherapy.gov.zw You can also link with us on our Twitter handle at Police Zimbabwe or our Facebook page Zimbabwe Public Police. If you miss any of our Crime Watch episodes you can watch them on our YouTube channel Zimbabwe Public Police. You can also visit our National Complaints Desk at the Police General Headquarters or call us on 0242-703-631. This brings us to the end of this week's episode. From me, Onesisa Sivanda, and the crew behind the scenes, pleasant viewing.